Gemini Cancer to your mid-month reading for November. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you for mid-month. Gemini Cancer. Having some disappointments. I feel like it's just disappointments. Um, it could be insecurities for some of you, but I don't really feel the insecurities. I'm really feeling disappointment. Somebody has disappointed you or something has disappointed you. Feeling that disappointment. And clarifying on the disappointment is going to be the third eye chakra. The third eye chakra is also going to clarify the entire reading. So really getting that third eye chakra open into I can see. I can see the disappointments. I can see that you're going to disappoint me. Um, something like this. Maybe they've already disappointed you once and so you see it coming again. Um, something of this nature. Okay, getting straight into the situation. The situation is going to take place in the present, the near past, and the near future. Yeah, they're definitely not giving you the harmony that you wish you had. And the reason I say you wish you had is because this is a six and this is a six, meaning that you want that harmony and you're just not getting it. <clears throat> you are, if anything else, standing your ground against this getting ready to either protect yourself or, you know, guard your heart some way or another. It's because of, in the recent past, there was the discontent um, and boredom. Um, something happened where it was already disappointment, plain and simple, and this is four and this is four, so it's the same card, um, four of cups. So it's pretty much just saying the same exact thing. You gave me four of cups in the um, excuse me, in the recent past, and you're giving me four cups now, or I see it coming, right? And in the near future, it's making it to the point where you can't even patiently plan. It's almost like you're taking a step back. Yeah. Something is holding you back, or you're taking a step back with the patience and planning. So you're not really planting those seeds at this time. Um, I feel like it may, it could just be on a delay. Um, so going straight into the, the recent past over here, it could have been a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago. With this type of energy, it could have been you did something to me in September, and I see you getting ready to do the same thing that you did to me in September. That type of energy, you guys. Okay, so it was like I was happy, I was free, everything was going great, and then this disappointment came. Um, it feels like all I want to do is free myself from that. You know, I just want to be happy. What are you doing? What are you doing? They're giving you toxic energy. It could have been dealing with a Capricorn um, or a Leo. However it is, um, they were giving you this toxicity within your life when all you wanted was happiness, and it feels like... There was happiness around you, but they keep disappointing you. I just feel disappointments with whatever they're doing with the devil over here, right? Chaining me down, holding holding down my happiness. That's, wow, that's really what it is. It's like, I'm happy, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and you're trying to push down that happiness. Um, I'm over here trying to either heal or... It feels like... Um, Wow, I'm really hearing, like, I'm really sorry I'd about you, but you keep disappointing me. Look, we could have all this happiness together if you just stop doing what you're doing. I really do, you know, like you. If you're already in a marriage, um, you know, you're just wishing that your, your spouse would stop doing this and start getting back, you know, to where the happiness is within the family. And of course, this doesn't have to be love. It could even be a friendship. 
why are you doing that? We always go out and have fun, but then as soon as I come back, you're doing something. Hmm. Family, friends, however it is. Um, with a harmony over here with the Six of Cups, yeah, so they're definitely disappointing you. Um, the harmony over here, you have the Nine of Cups. Just really looking for your satisfaction and your achievements, wanting that harmony. Um, yeah, a lot of these love. Just really wanting to get back to what you love. Feeling content, feeling the happiness, feeling the hormone, you know, the harmoniousness um, of this either relationship or just yourself. Trying to take action. Could even be a job, guys. Something is holding you down. Maybe they're not giving you enough hours. But with the hangman over here, it's like I'm going to take action because I see exactly what's going on. I see what you're doing. I see it. Even over here, I see it. I see what you're doing. You're holding me back. You're pushing me down. You're causing all of this nonsense and all this toxic behavior, um, causing obstacles um, within my life. With the hangman, it feels like you're really trying to push. You're taking that action. You're getting off hanging around that train. You're really pushing. Trying to push yourself out of this. And that's why you're standing your ground. Because it's like, I'm standing my ground against this. I'm not listening. I'm not going to try to pay attention to this disappointment. So I'm just going to keep trying to push forward. Yeah. Trying to get everything balanced. Um, for some of you, it could have ended up that whatever happened over here, like I said, it could be anybody, um, you could have ended up going to court over it. Um, and you're standing your ground in court. Standing your ground in a legal matter. Um, however it is, the truth is I have to stand my ground and stay away from you. I just feel like I, you're staying away from them. Um, with the hermit, it's kind of like I'm hiding out. I'm reflecting on what I need to reflect on. Like I said, I'm pushing forward, doing what I'm doing, and I'm staying away from you. So they might probably don't see you as much um, as they used to because you're kind of hiding out. <clears throat> And it's not the hermit upside down. You're not cold and withdrawn. You've just kind of stopped texting, stopped writing. Um, and if others don't see you as much and you're going to court, this is why they don't see you as much because you have to stand your ground in court, um, you know, and really self-reflect on the things that are going around this court issue. Okay. Could be a Virgo too. You might be ignoring a Virgo, a Libra, a Pisces, a Gemini, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, or a Leo. <laughs> There's a lot of people up here. Um, and of course, then it doesn't have to be any of those, but I'm just naming them off just in case. Um, but you are definitely ignoring anybody that's around you at this time. Like I said, if it's because you're going to court, you're ignoring everything around you because I have to deal with this. Um, if it's those who are in love, relationship, friendship, anybody else, you're ignoring them because you don't want these disappointments. I'm done with the disappointments. Um, you might even be feeling, I see the disappointments in the court, um, you know, within this court hearing. So it might even be that the hermit, you're self-reflecting on what's going on within this legal, maybe battle or just court case itself. Um, you might even be, oh my gosh, and I even heard for some of you, you might even be an eyewitness. And that could be the, oh my God, the third eye. You might even be the eyewitness in some crime or something that happened. And it's not really going the way you want it to go. And you're, yeah, because I see the disappointments within this case. Like I, you know, and you're trying to like self-reflect, like, oh my gosh. And you're really standing your ground um, for this person. Um because you've seen it and you're just like, why? Why is this not, what in the world, right? Like what in the world? Because whoever is in court, it's not going your way. 
It's not, and you know it, um, because you have the disappointment, right? And this court case is disappointing you. It doesn't seem to be going in your favor, and it's really, you know, it could be kind of upsetting you. Yeah, the moon coming out on top of the Virgo in the court case. Yes, the moon upside down. It's almost like it's being perceived wrong. It's not going your way. It feels like, I don't know, have you ever been like court, you know, or, or when people are talking and it's almost like feels like somebody has someone underneath their fog, like they built this, an illusion to this. And you're like, are you guys like here? <laughs> Do you understand like this? what's really going on and it just seems like this other person put the jury into kind of like a fog like they only see it their way but that's not like are you guys kidding me that kind of feeling like they're under a spell that's what it is like whoever you're going up against has like put the jury under a spell and that's kind of how you're feeling um over here with the disappointment like you got to be kidding me, right this is a joke right and that's exactly how it is. And it's kind of giving you three of swords because it's not going in your favor and you just can't get, you're just so standing your ground going, you're not getting it. You're all under a spell. I don't understand what's going on. So yeah, ignoring everything else around you. And then of course, if it's love, your disappointment because you feel like your partner or this other person is no matter what, there's a disillusionment going on. Like you're crazy. What are you doing? And this is a crazy card. The moon upside down is crazy. That's like, you know, that's like the full moon comes out at night and it causes chaos, right? The werewolves come out at night, that kind of behavior. So it's kind of like, are you, you're acting crazy. You're disappointing me. I don't know what you're doing. Um, that type of behavior is what's coming out of that. So yeah, just kind of watch for that. So over here with the patience and planning, there's just really nothing else you can do at this time. Um, dealing with a love relationship, it just feels like they, they're just acting crazy. Um, and that's why you're ignoring them. You don't have time for this. Because if you do not ignore them, they're going to give you three of swords. You just feel it coming on because they're talking crazy. They're doing crazy things. Um, it's not justified through you for them to be acting this way. So it's best just to ignore them, right? So you're really ignoring them. Patience and planning upside down in the near future. Yeah, because you're doing your own um, spotlight type of stuff. You're getting your um, rewards over here, working towards things that uh, you need to do. Okay. You have growth. You have success. You're working on your own success. And as you're patiently and waiting, um, and it could be for this outcome, there is an impatience though. Um, I do feel this. It's like, I'm not patiently planning on certain things, but there is also this impatience that's coming on. Um, also like kind of swooping underneath. Um, and that could be if you're in this court hearing, what is this scenario? What is the outcome? Okay. The good thing is though, with that, you do have the three of pentacles. So, you know, you do have some growth and success going on as you're working. So five of cups with the ace of wands. It won't be as bad as you think. So the outcome to this court case or whatever it is, is a slow moving answer. Um, yeah, it's coming and it is good news with the judgment call. So whatever you're doing, um, you guys, it looks like judgment is going to be I'm not going to say 100% beautiful because I don't see that, but it is good news. Um, okay. It is good news. So it's not bad news because otherwise that would be upside down, right? So is it 100% in your favor? I do not see that. Um, but it is better than what you thought it would probably turn out to be. For sure. For some of you, let's put it this way. For some of you, and I just, I've seen that in the cards. For some of you, if this is a divorce, 
The good news is, is that you're going to have good news. But the bad news is if you're trying to win the house, you're probably not going to get the house. Okay. Um, more than anything, they're going to probably come to the conclusion for you to sell the house. Ten of cups upside down, divide. Divide it. Sell the house. The judge is going to be like, sell the house. Divide the money. Go your separate ways. So the good news is you might not be winning the house. For some of you, you're not winning the house. Judge is saying 100%. Sell the house. Divide the money. So. You may have wanted the house, was hoping that was the good news, but the good news is at least they're making you divide the money. So he or she is not getting it. You are not getting it. It needs to be sold and equally separated. This is pissing off the queen of wands. So if you guys are dealing with that Leo, it doesn't have to be, but no matter what, this person, whoever you're, let's just put it this way. If it's not a house, it doesn't matter. You have a favor coming in like I said, it might not be exactly what you wanted, but it is enough to piss this person off, whoever you're against. And like I said, if it's if it's love, there is a judgment call coming in and you are doing everything that you're supposed to be doing over here. You're not patiently planning because you have other things coming in and this is pissing, pissing this person off. They are mad, mad. And if this is love, it's because you are working on doing the things you want. You have the resolutions and the understanding. And I can see exactly what you're doing. I'm going for my ace of wands. I am not putting up with your disappointments and crap. I have a message coming in of good news. You might be selling your house or moving away somewhere else. Some of you might have a job somewhere else coming in or something of this um, area. But you're also having the good news and the understanding. You know what? I had this realization that you are not going to change. And I'm moving on for myself because I do not have this for some of you. There's just no, not enough passion there for this other person anymore. They're just too toxic. And this person is mad that you are breaking up with them or moving away. Decided not to become their friends anymore. Something of this. All because of this message. And this upsets them. Yeah, it's definitely a message. Yeah. Judgment call message. And it could be message from the emperor. When the emperor could also be the judge. Right? So the emperor is saying it could be this boss. It could be you. Your, it could be your father. It could be... You talking to your grandpa, your grandma, your mother, somebody has talked to you to say something, um, an older, more mature person um, to make this happen. Okay. So, let's see what the angels have to say. Very beautiful reading, you guys. If you believe, keep that chariot going, keep that positivity going, get information on certain areas. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to be up to you, but the situation will improve. Okay, because you're going to then choose a new direction. And this is going to bring the peaceful resolution within yourself at the perfect timing. So no matter what, it's like this ace of wands that's coming in. And you're going to see this right away because your third eye is open and you're very aware right now. Um, okay, so when that... When this ace comes in and this new growth comes in and this new I have to take action, that is actually going to, in the near future, might be more planning. Yeah, I'm hearing planning. This is going to turn this right side up and there's going to be more actual planning. Don't worry about the patience. It's planning. Okay, so now it's going to turn into the seven of pentacles. Planting seeds. Yeah, that's what it is. Ugh. That's going to cause more planning. Let's clarify it on the patience and planning for the near future. King of Cups coming up. That's your energy coming up emotionally. Yeah, giving you a fool and a good new start. Yeah, taking that leap of faith is going to help you. 
if you believe, that's going to be that belief and keeping the faith within that. Yeah. Here's that offer again. Yeah, it's all the same in moving. Oh, fast, fast, fast moving. Yeah, fast, fast off. And then see, here comes that offering. And I'm telling you that Six of Pentacles is going to end up that planning. So they're going to give you these. They're going to offer you. You're going to move fast, right? I hope you guys can see that. You're going to move fast um, within this Six of Pentacles. You're going to say, hey, look, I have this for you. Yeah, and this is going to bring in more prosperity. Wow. So yeah, this is going to be one of those things. It's like, pew. definitely the pew, right? And this is going to give you that change and that chance that you need, that you're looking for, um, to get away from all of this, whatever it is. And if it's a, a job that just isn't paying you anything, then you got this new boss coming in saying, yeah, you know what? I got your resume and you know what? Let's go. Right. And they're giving you this opportunity. Wow. Very beautiful. You guys. Okay. And that was a reading for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye. -bye.